I've never been this close to a camel before. I feel like I'm gonna smell like camel milk and poo. I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. You may not know much about Mongolia, but chances are you've heard of Genghis Khan, the man who built an empire from China to Europe, covering 22% of the world. Today, the Mongolian way of life doesn't look all that much different from the days of the Great Khan, as one third of the country's population still live as nomads. Did you just? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Nomadic kids learn to ride almost as soon as they can walk, which comes in handy when you're in charge of your family's livestock. This is exactly how they laugh at horses, like back in the Genghis Khan days, and probably in the Attila the Hun days. Like nothing has changed, except for they have a satellite dish in the house. Living on the move on a vast step requires a different sense of community. All of the nomads, members of one community. Okay. So whole country is one community. So basically do unto others as you'd have done to you, right? Exactly. So you have to host anyone okay. who needs food and rest. Being a New Yorker, I was a little skeptical. But my trusty guide, Timur, showed me the ropes as we walked up to a traditional Mongolian gur. So what do you do like when you walk up? You're like, hey. uh, we say, hold the dog. You say, hold the dog? Dog. But you have to say it in Mongolian, eh? Okay. Wait. All right, here we go. Nohohoro! And just like that, Anka invited us into his family's gur. How long has his family been in this valley? <laughs> So when they move, they pack this all up, mm -hmm. and do they put it on the camels? Mm -hmm. The camel might not be the moving van of choice anymore, but they still rely on them for trade, clothing, and milk. And true to Mongolian custom, I was offered a traditional snack, a rule, made from curdled camel's milk. And it's pretty sour. It's definitely different. It's like really, really milky sour cream. That's exactly what it is. Ah. Boom. And there's only one way to show your appreciation for this treat. Burping, for example, yeah. is not rude at all. It's good, actually. Oh. If you burp after eating, yeah. you will make the host and hostess very happy because oh. uh, burping is the sign of you're full. As any guest knows, you should help out when needed. And Anka's neighbor needed help, milking camels. Not kidding. It looks a little strenuous. You have to stand on one leg, like in the crow pose, hold the bucket on the leg, and milk with both hands. I'm not the best multitasker, but I'm gonna try. Ah, I got it. Oh, whoops. I'm milking. I'm milking. <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job, but it's coming out. It's, this is. I just, you know, how is the camel milkmaid? I love her. On the next Abroad Abroad, you think you were hazed in college? Ha, you know nothing until you're hazed by a Mongolian nomad family.